So you guys may be wondering what this is on my forehead here. This is the result of impatience. I had a pimple and um, I messed with it and I made it worse. <laughs> so I am left with the vestiges of that. Today is actually my birthday. The reason I bring that up is because I, I have a little bit of a different take on this, I feel, and I wanted to uh, talk about it. So um, I think a lot of people really, you know, want people want attention on their birthday. They want people to do things for them. They want a big birthday cake that, you know, they really want people to take notice, which I think is a really nice thing to do. And I certainly appreciate when people um, reach out happy birthday wishes it's awesome super thoughtful but it's in no way something i'm especially interested in uh you know i have people ask me like hey it's your birthday are you gonna take the day off and i'm like you gotta be crazy there's no way especially today i would think about taking the day off and here's why i believe very strongly that i was not put on this earth to be celebrated. I was put on this earth to serve other people and to help make their lives better and help them realize and achieve their dreams. And certainly, yes, like there's a lot to enjoying life. And But I, I feel like the larger purpose for me being here is sewing into other people and helping them make advancements and have a better life and so today more than any other of the year that is the thing that I focus on is serving 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 how can I add value to people what can I do how can I go above and beyond um, who can I help even if it's in a in a really really subtle way I, I take tremendous joy in serving other people because I, I don't think that this is the day for the world to stop because I was born and I'm so important. I am, I'm really not that important, except to the extent to which I give into the lives of others and serve them. So uh, that's sort of my take on the whole birthday thing. And I'm super pumped. already had some appointments and meetings this morning. I got some more the, the rest of the afternoon. And then have, uh, once, I, once I get back home, have some things to do there. So I, I'm stoked. I love I love my birthday, uh, but I think for, for probably different reasons than, than a lot of other folks. Okay, so now I'm actually recording. I took a picture before. Sorry, this is Opal. She's playing in her characteristically odd manner, but this <laughs> is spazzy. Um, but I thought I was recording a minute ago and I wasn't, so I'll repeat it. I corrected her once earlier because she did inappropriately muzzle punch a dog. Um, she actually handled herself right there pretty well. She could have taken that as an in to create conflict.
Give love, get love. Oh! Yesterday I went for a run about midday. It was um, beautiful and sunny. Then there was a crazy downpour uh, with uh, just a rainstorm. It was crazy. That turned into slow last night. And because we live in Colorado, this is going to end up being nothing. Nothing. Because <laughs> the sun's going to come out in Colorado. It was crazy four seasons in a day. Okay, so it's been a bit of a roller coaster. Got to the pool this morning and they... Uh, the chlorine levels were all off, so they kind of sent everybody home, and then right at the last minute, they're like, wait, hang out, we're going to let everybody back in, so I changed out of my clothes into my suit, and then out of my suit into my clothes, and now I'm going to go change out of my clothes into my suit, and hop in the pool. <laughs> So you guys may be wondering what this is on my forehead here. This is the result of impatience. I had a pimple and um, I messed with it and I made it worse. <laughs> so I am left with the vestiges of that and reminder of what not to do. And it, you know, there's, there's a lesson in it, I think, especially for me being an entrepreneur, a business owner, somebody who, you know, that's just kind of in our DNA to be impatient by nature. And I think that there's definitely times for that because it can drive us to really uh, take action and to move and not to constantly hesitate and second guess and, you know, put question marks in front of everything. It's just like, go. And I think that you have to have that if you're uh, an entrepreneur, a business owner, etc. But you also have to, again, balance, like everything is a balance between impatience and patient uh, and being patient and it's it's really more of a timing issue I think you know you want to be I think it's really important to be patient with getting results because results aren't something that you can directly control they really aren't you can but you want to be impatient with your work ethic right and so um, I think, and, and then you have to know again timing and what things you can control and what things you can't. Otherwise, you get yourself in trouble and you mess with stuff you shouldn't or you mess with it before you should. And then you're left with a reminder of why you need to um, employ patience and keep, keep patience on your payroll pretty consistently. Ghosts. Chasing.
right, what's going on everybody? It is Friday morning. It's insanely windy here in Colorado, um, but cool weather patterns. I actually kind of really like storms and find them fascinating. But uh, here's the thing. I was thinking the other day about how, how difficult I had made it at times to actually just be in a good place and to be happy with what I was doing and happy with where I was at and happy with, really just with like the day that I had had and the, the reason I kind of boiled down to I was putting ridiculous criteria out there and and criteria upon criteria of what um, what I had to do what I had to get done when it had to be done by in order for me to feel like satisfied with the way that I had conducted myself that day and of course it was essentially making it so that the planets had to line up in order for me to feel good, which then was spiraling into at times, okay, now that I don't really feel good, now I'm getting even less done, I'm being less productive, I'm not helping people at the same level, um, because I'm not in the best place that I could be. And so, you know what I boiled it down to? I just put a reminder in my calendar for like a week and a half that every single day, um, in order for me to feel great about what I had done that day, I had to do at least one good thing. And if I did, game over, baby. I could feel awesome. I could hold my head high. I could feel proud of what I'd accomplished. And that's just, I think that's tremendously important that we're, we're going to do a much better job at our jobs and our careers, our professions and our businesses, um, in sport and whatever it is that's your jam, that's your thing, if you feel good. And if you're an achiever or an overachiever, whatever, whatever you want to call it, <clears throat> sometimes we can get into a trap of holding ourselves to such, such a ridiculously high standard and criteria that it becomes almost impossible to meet it. And so we can feel defeated and like we're not getting anywhere and we're not where we should be and we can start to get down on ourselves. And so I would encourage you if you're in that position or you ever get in that position, just remember this and, and scale it back and make it easy for yourself to win and to have wins that day. So, all right, that's what I'm thinking about. And I'm going to jet because I got to hop on the line here, but um, love you guys. Hope you're doing awesome. Thank you.